So I'm here today with Terry Hollands, no, 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 Terry Hollands. Um, just do a quick Q and A. But first, <clears throat> do you think anyone's going to pull the five or five? Um, no, honestly, no, I don't. I mean, it'd be nice to see a couple of guys get up close to it, but no, I can't see five or five going this weekend. Uh, I mean, maybe Mackerel. I think he probably have the best chance of it. Seems to be hitting some big numbers and stuff, but yeah, no, I just can't see it. I think he's, he's a big ask, and obviously. Eddie and Ford both doing their 500s and 501. I've seen the bar so high, I think it's all uh, It's going to be tough for anyone to get up around that sort of number. Yeah, I think the same. I think the best way to look at it is um, when you compare Eddie Hall and his training lifts, and Poor and his training lifts, yeah. and compare them to the boys now, <clears throat> it's just not there. No. Do you know? Um, so I don't. Ivan Makarov is the only guy. Yeah, I mean, what did he do, like 470 or something recently in training? 470, it was like a speed ramp up to his knee and yeah. a bit of a, a lockout after that, but... That was the same with Manchester, though, wasn't it? He, he got it up to his knees and then that, that big lift, but then that was it. That's obviously where his weakness is. Um, I actually fancy Biff to have a good crack here before he got injured, obviously, but we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully. Okay. Moving okay. on. Skittles can he fit under his foreskin? We a few, I'd imagine. I don't know, I've never tried. Do we try tomorrow? Yeah, let's would see how many skittles. But they need the colour under your foreskin as well. See how like, the colour comes off if you're holding your hand too long. <laughs> yeah, that's actually. Plus, whenever whoever ends up sucking your dick, uh, yeah. we'll have a skittle flavour project. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a treat. If you had like, blue ones, they'd think you've got some weird disease. <laughs> Blue stuff growing on your cock. Blue waffle. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Who is the god of strongmen in your opinion? Um, I've got to say Big Z, but Brian would be a very close second. I think both them two are, out of all the guys I've competed against there, them two in shape, in the best shape of their lives, were just unbelievable. And obviously there was both of them, so the battle between the two of them was immense. And um, yeah, I'd say. Z, just because of the longevity, a little bit more than Brian, the extra arm to win, so I think he just edges it personally. Yeah, Big Z was just uh, something else. 20 years at the top of his game. Honestly, mate, I remember the first time I competed against him and I was like absolutely blown away. Some of the things he was doing, like the rest of us were competing, and um, he was just making things look easy that everyone else was struggling with, and I'm not just talking about like a few of us, like everybody was struggling with. Strongest strongman ever. See, I, I, I've asked, been asked this a few times. I think Eddie, in terms of just brute strength with like no technique, I, take the technique out of the equation, gym lifts as well. I, I honestly think Eddie's the strongest. Eddie guy. Hall, yeah, I can see Eddie Hall as well. Toro would be a close second. Yeah, fair. it's like when you see some of the videos of Eddie when he was at his strongest doing dumbbell presses, like yeah. just repping out 100 kilo dumbbells <laughs> on shoulder press, like that nothing. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just no one on the same page. So. How is Terry as a friend? A bit of a wanker. I'd say. Do I have to answer that? A bit of a twat, really. Well, I, I suppose I, I can answer it. Um, I'll say honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where did you get the shoes you wore at Europe? They were fabulous. They actually were nice. Yeah, I liked them. I, I got uh, very mixed reviews on those, but I actually ordered them online. I found them like size 16 pink shoes. I was like, it's, it's a size. <laughs> yeah, um, I was actually looking for some pink loafers. Um, oh yeah, they were actually better. Yeah, when they come up. It was the uh, strong cold. Yeah, yeah that would do. Uh, why was, oh yeah, a lot of the questions were, why was Terry so mad at me in the picture? Because basically, while we were in America, obviously Paul couldn't compete because he had an injury. Um, 
short this man. So we went to the gym and we, me, Pa and Eddie were meant to train together and Pa basically just cut me out of the video and didn't train with me, he just trained with Eddie, you know. Because he's up his arse, obviously. All for the YouTube views. Eddie's more popular than me, so yeah, that was um, yeah, that was why. So he basically just didn't include me in the video at all. <laughs> Was that Bruster? No, it was just content. <laughs> uh, well, it makes sense. I mean, Eddie's bloody popular, isn't he? You know? And he's a good laugh as well. Have either of you tried arm wrestling? Yeah, no. I have. I did a little bit. Um, so I got asked to do this arm wrestling show in Holland, and it was all like different sports people, like ex fighters and things like this. And um, I won the show in Holland, and I'm off the back of it, I got to arm wrestling Japan. Arm wrestling against like loads of MMA fighters, sumo wrestlers, and all sorts. It was good fun. We enjoyed it. Got paid really well for it as yeah. well. Yeah, it was, it was really good. But I did. I had to literally fly out to Japan. I was only there for two days, and then I flew back on New Year's Eve. It was all live on Japanese TV. <laughs> it's like eight million people watched it. Jesus and, um, Yeah, then I literally got back New Year's Eve and put a lot of water cash in my pocket and just went out and got shit faced. You're probably really. Um Popular of Japan. Yeah, I, honestly, it was mental. We walked out of the studio afterwards, and there's all people like outside, oh, and they're all like wanting photos. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, good fun, though. Good fun. Jap Japan was, was amazing. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to go back again. Um, and like a heated toilet seat in my hotel room. Sit on it, and you can turn the heat on so it actually heats the toilet seat. Jesus. So you can have a nice warm bum when you're having a poo. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather give Man, a blowjob, or have sex with a trans? Have sex with a trans? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably have sex with trans anyway. That was like, yeah, <laughs> just, just for shits and giggles. That was Gregor's question, when it who won't, a few years back. Would you rather have sex with someone that looks like a man, but has a vagina, or have sex with someone that looks like a woman, but has a penis? And I think the answer is one that looks like a woman that has a penis. Personally, because it looks like a woman and I'm attracted to women. Just avoid the penis. You know, there's other, other places you can go and just don't do the hand around the front. Oh, no. And you're all good because it looks like a woman. Yeah, but. Because the other one looks like a man. Yeah, but. Would you be attracted to someone that looks like a man? But she'd have a vagina. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is what makes the question so difficult. I still think the one that looks like a woman that has a penis would be better than the one that looks like a man that has a vagina. So, you know, just a bit of backdoor action. Isn't it? That's a um, mixu boy, I think. Yeah. So, so, I don't know. I don't know. No, because it looks like a woman. You're attracted to what looks like a woman. Yeah. But obviously, you just... know she's a dick. Yeah. How much if you fall asleep? Mm, it'd be weird, wouldn't it? Wake up at a sun and I'm not about gay sex like to them. Like balls ram against each other while they're going you know. Balls ram? Like, like when they're going in behind, like do their balls flap against each other? I never thought about that. No. Oddly. Sorry, that just, that just came, to, came into my head. Yeah. I assume they do. I'm not, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not getting excited about it, but. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you or Terry ever been in trouble with the law? Nope, because I know that's the police that watch this, so yeah, no. No, never. Ever. Uh, I, could, I could actually tell one story. I got arrested with going to Canada uh, when I was going to compete because I had a load of painkillers in my bag. It's not that bad. They had so strong painkillers. They had someone else's name on the prescription thing on the box, and I actually got arrested and fined uh, for taking me to the country. What should we find? Like four hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> like a weird stamp in my passport for ages. Only time I went to America or Canada, they like was pulling for searches to make sure I didn't have painkillers on me that I shouldn't have. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't think that's that bad. I did. I just didn't know. Just didn't think anything of it. Um, I think I should give the haters uh, voice well. Um, why is Terry wasting his time at Perth? Why am I wasting my time with you? Is that what it says? Yeah. Who says that? Julius Smoody. Julius? Thanks, thanks Julius. Yeah, it's not very nice. It's not nice. No, we don't like it. Hey Terry, what's Paz IQ? 
um, 126. I'll tell you. Yeah, just a random guess. <laughs> um, he might play the joke if he's not stupid. <laughs> Did you all enjoy the bl Pabst Blue Ribbon in America at World's Strongest Man? A lot of people have said to me that it was shit beer, but I actually enjoyed it. It was alright. I yeah. really like the night. I mean, fucking hate beer. I'm not much of a beer drinker, so. Yeah, uh, same. Yeah, no, it was alright. I had a few after the competition. Yeah. Um, <coughs> ask Terry why he always looks moody. I think you just have a resting bitch face. Yeah, I've got the male equivalent of resting <laughs> bitch face. I'm actually quite a happy person, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> I just look like I'm seriously pissed off all the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the hardest thing that you had to overcome when switching from body from strongman to bodybuilding? <coughs> um, not being able to eat banoffee pie. I was going to say a bitch it's diet related. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely diet related. Yeah. Or like just eating out and stuff. Or you've got to like yeah. be a little bit careful what you eat, even when you're sort of going off playing a little bit. You still can't go too stupid. Yeah. I fucking love putting off your pie and ice cream. Not, not always together. They're two of my favourite things in the world. Obviously, I don't it get is. to eat them very much anymore. It is fucking nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, Terry, what happened to the uploads? I assume they mean. My YouTube. YouTube. Um, basically, I got to a point where I just needed a break from it and I felt like I needed to just knuckle down with my training and I was spending more time worrying about filming my training than actually just knuckling down and doing it. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much why I put it on the back burner for a little while. But I'll get some going again soon. It's a pain in the hole. Yeah, I, I need a video. <laughs> it's a lot of work. I need, I need a videographer that just follows me around. That's yeah. what I need. Yeah. But I can't afford one. Definitely worth the money. Uh, uh, when are you going to force your way into the Shaw Classic? You deserve an invite for sure. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd have liked for you to have been there, you know, obviously um, I'm commentating the pro show. It'd oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it'd be good, one, good, yeah. Um, good I, for you to be out there, mate. I could have uh, commentated with you. Yeah, could have done that. We could have had some fun, wouldn't we? <laughs> but um, maybe next year. Maybe next year. Hope you're watching. Brian or what's his fucking video on his name again? Uh, his video on his name? James. 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 Yeah. Sorry, James. <coughs> uh, if Eddie and Thor didn't retire, what do you think they could have lifted? I would go as far as to say 550. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Do you know if they went fucking head to head? Yeah, well, Eddie was definitely good for more when he did the 500, wasn't he? At least he had at least another 10 gigos there, maybe 20. And that was then, obviously, to then progress from that point. Who knows? See, the thing about it, I think, is they never actually reached their potential. They only no, reached, they were still young, weren't they? They were young, but they only reached for a number. Yeah. Like, Eddie wanted 500, and Tor stopped at 501. Yeah. So they never actually went balls out. No, no. Failed right. the lift, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And I, mean, I think, like, what, like, what, 20, 28, 29 when yeah. they did that? I think my strongest years were in my early 30s. Yeah, I was going to say mid Early to mid 30s. So they yeah. Still, yeah, no, still weren't even there, in their prime for strength yeah. sports. I'd love to see it. I was in what, another video there. <clears throat> if I won the Euromillions, I'd put like 5 million on the table. And I'd guess the two of them, and give them 4 months each, 5 months, yeah. 6 months in, just to get the most potential and say, have at it. Yeah. I'd fucking love it. Yeah. I think it would go to 550. Yeah, possibly. <clears throat> Do you know when they're up against each other and not chasing? A yeah. number of such, do you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Obviously, you know, we know how much strong man damages your body, so I suppose there'd be a bit of wear and tear there and how much, how yeah. bad that is. But if they're both relatively <laughs> in shape, which I think they probably are, you know, they stopped before it got too out of the band, so yeah. you know, there's no reason why they couldn't get, get that strong again. Okay, last question. Who do you think is the most genetically gifted strongman currently competing? Do you know, I saw this message and um, I saw this message and I was thinking about it and Novikov looks like he's not genetically gifted but he fucking, yeah. he is gifted. Well, you wouldn't be that strong at that size and everything else because he might not be the absolute strongest guy but in terms of like athleticism and everything he's, he's fucking unbelievable. There's no weakness is the way no. I look at that. So possibly, I mean, I would say probably Tom. Tom Stolman, yeah. yeah. 